CataractCoach.com, a huge decimated attachment. How can you rescue the case now? A guest surgeon, Dr. Devi Mandagi from Indonesia. Great case. Watch carefully. Infusion from Biomantle goes in the eye and immediately pulls off decimase. Because the port was just facing in the direction that allowed it to get under decimase and the entire layer starts to peel off. Wow, what do you do now? So this patient's in the aphagic state. Watch again. Cortex removal, putting the infusion in, and just like that, decimate feels, peels off. So how do you fix it? A bubble to help tamponade it. So this is just an air bubble of regular gas, and that can go inside the air. That's just room air that's filtered, and that'll hold it in place. And you let that heal up, and the patient should do okay. Now we can talk about different gases, air versus C3F8 or SF6, and I can tell you what I prefer. I'll tell you that at the end. But before I do that, let me actually just show you this video one more time. Again, infusion goes in the eye, and the port of the infusion just happens to hit decimase right where the incision is, and it gets underneath it and just detaches it. So watch carefully. There it is. So be very careful, don't further detach it, get underneath it, make sure you help support it, bring it back up. Now, should you finish the case here? And that's a good question. Putting the lens in right now and continuing the case may cause a bigger attachment. So maybe a better part of judgment is, let's first tamponade this and get it back into position. You can always come back in a few days or a week to put the lens in. Thanks for sending in the video. I really appreciate it. A very unusual case that I hope you don't encounter too often. Think of it this way. When you do a DMEX surgery, you're transplanting decimase layer. What do you use to hold it in place? We use an air bubble. And we could use just room air, which may last you only a day, maybe two days at most. Or we could use one of the gases that are used in retina surgery, the inert gases, C3F8 or SF6. Now keep in mind, these last a long time. And if you have too much of a fill, let's say more than 25% of the gas that you're putting in there is one of these specialized ones, you can't have extra expansion. So C3F8 may last you a long time, six, seven weeks. That's too much for us. SF6, which is sulfur hexafluoride, can last you less, maybe a week. But if we mix it, and we're mixing, in my case, I do 16.6% SF6. We're mixing it with room air, filtered room air. So we'll do one cc of SF6 with five cc's of filtered room air, and that's a one to six ratio, or 16.6% SF6. Placing that in the anterior chamber, pretty much a full fill of just the AC, that'll last you quite a few days. You'll probably get three, four days out of it in the clinic, and that'll really hold that decimate layer in place so it has time to start to heal. Now the endothelial pump function is gonna hopefully hold it in place right off the bat, but the gas there is an extra tamponade that really helps to hold things in place. So if you do have one of these and you have access to the retina gases, consider using 16% SF6, I think you'll find it very helpful. And also just be careful. These decimated attachments can happen at any time, so be vigilant. Thanks for watching these videos. And remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.